My name is Micha Weimblatt, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Betterific. Let me introduce you to the suggestion box, first used in 1880 by a Scottish shipping company to collect customer feedback. This is what it looked like then, and this is what it looks like today. <laughs> Not much has changed, although it is nice that they now supply you with a pen and a paper. Customers have ideas to make their favorite products and brands better. But unlike 100 years ago, companies now have the tools at their fingertips to be able to initiate that dialogue. And unfortunately, today's suggestion box isn't much better. This is Coca-Cola's idea submission form, their version of a suggestion box. Looks more like a legal document than an inviting place to casually drop an idea. And Caribou Coffee, if you look closely, they ask you to submit your idea into an envelope. These mechanisms failed to unlock the power and the potential of what customer feedback could be. Social, viral, and most importantly, effective. These submission forms are boring, they're dull, and they are dead ends, which is why we created Betterific.com, a place to share and discover ideas to make products better, a suggestion box for the digital age, where customers' voices can be heard and other customers can jump online to see ideas they had never known existed. We launched Betterific eight weeks ago and it has become an exciting place to be. New ideas are being submitted all day, every day, and I want to show you some of our favorites. Here is Ariel, probably frustrated by one too many ba stale bags of Cheerios. And Will, my guess is that he didn't want to have to choose between buying an ebook and a book for his library shelf. And Zach, probably one of my all time favorites on the site. My guess is that his girlfriend uh, inspired this one. <laughs> so, like I said, Betterific has been live for eight weeks, and the content has been compelling, and the engagement numbers are phenomenal. Over 1,500 ideas have been submitted. And people aren't just coming onto the site to submit ideas, but they, were, they are voting and commenting on other people's ideas to build out that vibrant community. Our users have taken over 20,000 actions since we started. And they are spending, on average, eight and a half minutes per visit. This opens up a tremendous business opportunity. In IBM's 2010 CEO study, they found that 88% of CEOs believe that being closer to their customer is the single most important company directive. Existing platforms like Facebook and Twitter allow customers to talk at companies. But Betterific allows a more intimate dialogue to drive deeper levels of engagement. Free from the clutter of Facebook and Twitter, Betterific's sole job is to build community around ideas and suggestions. And over the last few days, we have been able to start signing up paying customers across fast casual, retail, and hospitality. They are bringing their customers to Betterific so that they can listen and respond to their customers' ideas and submissions, to open up that dialogue and, and turn their casual customers into passionate ones and their passionate customers into evangelists. They're able to access insights to better understand the ideas that are being presented, and they have access to rich demographic analytics so that they understand not just what the ideas that are being presented are, but who in the aggregate is voting and submitting those ideas. Moving forward, brands will have multiple access points for their customers. Betterific.com, which has already been built, is an open and online community where anyone can suggest ideas for any product. We're also happy to announce that we will be building out the Betterific Idea Board, which, with one line of code, allows the Betterific experience to be embedded on companies' websites and properties so that they can host and manage their own conversation using our technology. Brands will have the best of both worlds. They'll have access to a new pool of customers on Betterific.com and their own customers using their Idea Board. These multiple channels create multiple revenue streams for Betterific. And to accomplish all this, we are gearing up for a very busy 2013. On February 1st, we will launch our iPhone app to be with our users on the go. On April 1st, we'll launch sponsored content, which will allow brands to pose questions and campaigns to the Betterific.com community. 
On July 1st, we're launching the idea board to embed Betterific on companies' websites. And on July 4th, we're going to have a barbecue. You all are invited. <laughs> now, to hit these goals and to plan for the most epic barbecue ever, we are opening up our seed round today for, of $650,000. This investment will help us to enhance the Betterific experience, refine our product market fit, and most importantly, continue to sign up new brands. Now, let me introduce you to the team of hackers and hustlers behind the Betterific vision that is going to take us to the future. We have Jonathan Schillett, who's in charge of brand partnerships and customer acquisition. Besides being our resident charmer, he is the perfect man for the job. He has spent the better portion of his professional career working with big brands like VH1, Hulu, and Six Flags. We have Brad Cater, an MIT alum, who has developed the Betterific assets. And he has truly earned his nickname, Big Data Brad. At his last firm, he developed a patent-pending machine learning address mining algorithm. I, too, have no idea what that means, but you can tell he's a smart dude. <laughs> Me, my name is Micha Weinblatt, and before co-founding Betterific, I was the CEO and founder of Crooked Monkey T-shirts, which was a brand of clothing that was sold in over 500 retail locations and did over $4 million in sales. In 2011, I was named one of CNN Money's top 10 entrepreneurs to watch. So the next time you've got an idea, either because you found a stale bag of Cheerios lying around or you don't want to have to pick up that toilet lid, you know where to go. We look forward to seeing you on betterific.com, and thank you very much.